Hello Libra, welcome to this video. So, looks like you... First card that we have for you is Judgment. So you could really actually be making up your mind about something, like you really have some clarity on where you stand about a certain situation, about a certain individual. It could actually be about yourself with King of Swords here. It's usually, this can be a Libra card. Um, you could have made some kind of decision like about your own behavior or noticed an aspect of yourself, like some kind of aspect of yourself was revealed to you and you're like, oh, um, either for better or for worse, a good aspect or, or a negative one, you kind of, this, as, this side of yourself was <laughs> revealed to you, this aspect of yourself. Um, it could also be that you're feeling judged by others or judgment doesn't always necessarily actually mean like judgment usually it's more of some kind of decision or like a judgment call but it could be that you're feeling judged by others right now um, could definitely also just want to like focus on yourself in some regard uh, like you're really doing a lot of introspection paying a lot of attention to yourself. You could have like some new found self-awareness or self-discovery, if this makes sense. Um, or like maybe some new side of you appeared recently or like you noticed. Anyways, uh, between you and your romantic interests, we have the sun card. So it looks like there is a bit of optimism about your connection, about your relationship. Could be some kind of truth that is going to be revealed between you. Um, King of Swords and Queen of Swords. So you could definitely be dealing with another air sign. Um, hmm. Could also be that you you both feel like you found like a companion or this person feels like they would be a really good companion to you. So they're very optimistic about it. They're like, oh yeah, I would be a great partner for this Libra. Um, like, they feel like you align quite well in some regard. So, this person that you're dealing with, they have the Emperor. They could be dealing a little bit with control issues on their behalf. Um, they could also just be trying to develop, grow something in their life. They could be really taking initiative, like they want to take initiative or charge towards you. Um, like they want to be the one to make some kind of advancement towards you. And also with Ace of Wands on your person side, it's like they want to say something to you or also Ace of Coins at the bottom. They want to like spark something with you. Um, if you've usually been the one, that's my cat, sorry. If you've usually been the one to make like a move towards this person, they want to reciprocate that to you. Otherwise, if there hasn't been much news or whatever, like this person really wants to do something towards you. With Ace of Wands, it's usually like it could be something sexual, but it could also be some words of passion or what have you. Or maybe they want to do something like exciting, something new with you, show you something new, a new idea. Also, the Knight of Swords, yeah, this person definitely, like, wants to move towards you, say something to you, or, um, they could be feeling a little bit impulsive as well with Ace of Wands and, like, Knight of Swords could be a little bit, they could say something or accidentally, not necessarily accidentally, but, like, they could end up saying something on an impulse to you, or, like, doing something impulsive towards you. Alright. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, but they really want to like take initiative because they're feeling good about this and they're like, you know, Libra Libra needs me in their life type of situation. You're like, do I? You're more focused on yourself. So you're going to make some kind of judgment call like <laughs> about this person probably because they're going to approach you is what it looks like and you're going to be like, oh, yes or no. 
Um, like I said, that could also be in regards to like how you're feeling about yourself. Choose love. You always have a choice. Make yours with love. So with this judgment call, um, if you're trying to make a judgment call or a choice between like love and hate or love and apathy or um, love and coldness or something like this, uh, if you have to make a decision about your course of behavior, this is saying choose love, make yours with love. I love you. These are powerful words. This person could actually, this could be what this Ace of Wands here is like some impulsive, like, I have feelings for you or something like that. <laughs> that could be what this person is considering. Um, or they might just like, you know, it might just happen. They just say it. New love. Embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth. Okay, so this could be with someone new and this makes a lot of sense with the Ace of Wands and like, this optimism and such uh, could definitely be someone new. Listen with your heart. You are listening, but need to hear with a loving heart. So when this person, I think what happens, like what this is saying is, I'm really getting for a lot of Libras, this person is going to be like saying something towards you. And it's going to be from the heart, so it's saying, like, receive this from the heart. Like, maybe, uh, well, don't be so judgmental, like, about this person's message or something. If, if at first you, I mean, that's up to you, of course. Um, but, you know, maybe just listen to what this person has to say. All right. You could have also decided like you're ready for love or something so it actually like comes into your life like quicker than you would expect because you like chose love. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Okay, so you could definitely be reflecting on yourself, on um, a past situation, a current situation, a connection that you have. Um, and I think this is where this judgment or this decision or this like clarity comes from. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So with the Sun card here, you could be feeling actually a lot more joy um, just in your life. You could be feeling more optimistic just in general about this connection maybe, but also just about like your life you could be really trying to be more positive even though like it's probably pretty hard to right now just that's more is more necessary to like try your best to be at least slightly positive not like the whole like toxic positivity like you don't have to be positive about every situation but just in the sense that like not feeling doom and gloom all the time for your own sake when it comes to matters of the heart there is no right or wrong Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So this could be something that you're understanding um, that makes you feel ready for new... My god, it's so hyper right now. Um, this could be something that you came to understand, like, okay, yeah, maybe some things went wrong with love and romance in the past, but now I have this new understanding and, like, a new understanding of life and love because of other decisions that you made about it in the past. So maybe this switch made you realize you're ready for like a new love or a new rekindling type of thing. But probably you're just more receptive to love um, for some Libras at this point. Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Which it looks like with the Sun card as well, there's a lot of um, like positive energy in your connection at this point. Which maybe for a while was like, you know, some things were wrong and all of that. But now, there's kind of this, this wave of positivity within your connection. And even if it's not actually like, either you guys are being more positive to each other, more kind to each other. 
if you're together, or otherwise it's just within your own emotions, within your own mind space, about this person, about this connection. Alright. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture, which it looks like this is what this person is really like trying to do. They really want to do this. Um, they could have been, maybe they were thinking about it for a while, and that is always like, should I just try to play it cool or whatever, but they're like, oh wait, no. Like, I'm going to choose love, I'm going to choose to express my love, make a romantic gesture. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Um, and this is over this card, like, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. So if this is something that's your, that's really like a pressing issue in your life right now, and it's weighing heavy on you, this is saying, despite your circumstances, um, you deserve to feel joyful, like, in this present moment. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So there's a lot of, like, happiness coming in for you, and since this is over new love, you could be, like, entering, or soon you're going to enter, like, a honeymoon phase with someone, where you're getting to know each other, it's all exciting, and all of these things. Getting to know each other. It's kind of creepy, actually, that I, like, literally just said that, and that happens sometimes. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So, it's like getting to know each other, it's exciting, it's a honeymoon phase. Um, and it could be very healing for you to, like, reveal your innermost self to this person and it looks like they're going to be very accepting of that, like receptive of your true self, of your innermost self, so it's like very healing because maybe sometimes in the past you were authentic towards someone or something like this and you weren't met with acceptance, you were met with like judgment perhaps, you know? Um, so Commitment, wow. This person really wants to commit to you, definitely. Like, you might actually have to tell this person to, like, hold their horses, and not in the sense that, like, but make sure it's, like, you know, like, not in, like, a rude way. Just for some of you, because the energy that I'm getting from them is so, like, it's cute, though, you know? I don't know. That's up to you, actually. Maybe, maybe it's just gonna just... Go along for the ride with them, because they're really trying to, like, take you out, date you, commit to you. Family. Yeah, like, they're very serious about this. The thing is, it's just like, I don't know if you guys know each other yet, or what's going on here. It's cute, though. Um, they want to have, like, a family with you. True commitment. Animals. Yeah, the whole nine yards. They want to have pets. They want to have a family. Fertility. This is the most serious I've ever seen a person be about, like, the person or about the sign that I'm reading for. Honestly. Like, sometimes people are like, they're, they're in it, but like, wow. This person is, like, floored by you. It's very cute. Um, so no wonder they're so optimistic. <laughs> about uh, your guys' connection. I like it. Nice. Libras deserve this, you know? Organization. So, might be some things that you have to get into order before you're like ready for a commitment. Maybe you're like, okay, like, I'll do this or that. Could also be that you're really committed to some kind of like organization um, in your life, like, some kind of organization. It could be, like, a, a spiritual thing or what have you. Hmm. All right. It could also be you're actually really in need, yeah, order. You're actually really, um, in need of, like, getting something in order, like in the physical sense, or like in a, um, arrangements, like a schedule, or like your actual, like, clothes, or something like this, there's really something that you actually physically need to get into order, and even though it's a tedious task, 
you're gonna feel much better about um, being in like your home space or your daily routine or whatever if you just put in the little extra time to organize this thing, get this thing in order. Whatever loose end that you have to get in order. For Libras, uh, don't put it off because actually once you're done you're gonna feel a lot better. Alright, excitement. Yeah, this person's very excited about like knowing you, meeting you, seeing you, talking to you. Um, they're very excited about you. Indecision. I think this is coming from, this could be coming from you. Um, just because of the whole thing of like, you making this judgment call, this decision, uh, really trust your mind if this is something that you're always like you're indecisive because you don't trust yourself to make the right decision it's really important that you trust yourself to make the right decisions in your life for yourself no one knows the right decision for you better than you do if this makes sense so um it's okay to like be a little indecisive but um you know just trust yourself trust your opinion trust your what you want to do for your life for yourself Okay, so if you have any specific questions about this connection or your life in general, feel free to ask them. These are usually some kind of answers. Um, it could just be related to like this reading so far, or it could be any questions if you don't have questions. So we have, you're ready. Yeah, I think a lot of Libras decided, um, if you're not in a relationship already, a lot of Libras may have decided that they're ready for commitment or that they're ready for love. Because um, I got to like choose love and what I was getting is like Libras decided, okay, I'm really ready for something more serious right now or something like this. Um, yeah. Whatever this thing is or this person, it looks like you're like you're ready for this. Um, look for a sign. Alright. Well, let go. So there's something that you have to let go of here um, in your life. And if you're in the process of letting it go, this is just kind of like a reaffirmation. Keep doing that. Keep going. Keep letting that go. If you believe. So yeah, and, and this is also like over the indecision thing. So I think it's really important for Libras to believe in yourself. And um, Libras are known for like being indecisive. So that could just be a trait of yours, perhaps, in general. Um, but you know, believe in yourself, definitely. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, so. Oh, does this card... Opportunity. So if maybe there's some opportunity that's coming towards you, um, to, to see a person or to do a thing or to make some money or to have some fun, it's up to you or what you want or need at this point. My instincts keep me adaptable in the face of any obstacle. So again, like... I think there's something really important for Libras in this reading is about like trusting yourself, trusting your instincts, and trusting what you want. Um, healthy boundaries keep me centered and balanced. So you may have to actually set some, this over like finances and career and family in order. So you may have to set some boundaries with yourself about like you know, I'm only going to let my room get a certain amount of messy, or I'm only going to uh, let myself go this amount of time without exercising, and after that, it's like, okay, we got to do it, you know? And for other people, it's like, with your family, you may actually have to say, I really have to focus on money right now, so I can't spend that much time with my family, which is sad. I don't know if that's really a healthy boundary or not. Maybe, yes. Um, it could also be with work or something, like, you know, if you're getting paid... For 9 to 5, you shouldn't be working from 9 to midnight or whatever, you know? 
So you have to be like, okay, these are my hours, or something like this. Don't take on too many hours. Some kind of boundaries with your work, your family, or yourself. I am ready, thank you. And this is over the let go card. And we also had, you're ready. So you could be really ready to let go of something and bring in something new for yourself. Um, I think this is also just like you're ready for this new chapter in your life. You could be ready to express love, choose love, or like receive love. It is safe and beautiful to express my sensuality. Yes. <coughs> this is over like fertility and stuff. Um, so you could really be getting to know someone and also like the sensual side of themselves. You could be feeling safe with this person to express the sensual side of yourself. Um, yeah, this could just be in general. Uh, <coughs> like feeling comfortable in your body and in expressing, using your body to express yourself or something. Okay. You are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. So, there's also this card about indecision here. Um, it's really specific to the Libra watching this about what it is that you're confused or indecisive about, but Merlina, this angel, is telling you to do some research or speak or seek expert advice before making a decision. So maybe it's something actually that you need to learn more about before you can make a decision about this for some Libras. I'm the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. So this is also over like the finances and career. Um, yeah. It's just an affirmation that you may actually get some opportunities, something that comes towards you. Oh, and you actually may need to get like your finances and career in order because order was over that. Maybe that's a thing. Um, just like spending habits or something like this. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. So yeah, like I said, um, with the let go card here, what I'm getting is like you're going to keep moving forward and keep letting that go whatever it was also if there's something that you're really motivated towards like moving towards um you're motivated about like going towards doing this thing hanging out with this person or whatever i don't know if <laughs> in terms of a person if like <laughs> this is the best card for that anyhow um keep going yes victory your desire is coming to fruition Keep up the good work. So yes, you're going to have some victory in your life. Whatever judgment call it is that you make, and this was under this, this is talking about new romance um, with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship, be open to giving and receiving love. This is coming into your life. This is a big thing for Libras right now, I guess, is uh, being open to giving and receiving love. You have lots of victory coming for you. So that's good. That's amazing. I like to see it. I think that's all the cards that I have for Libra and this has been pretty long. Okay. So this is messages from your person, um, this person that you're dealing with here. I wish things were different. Okay, maybe this indecision is coming from them. I'm really getting, maybe it's both of you. I was hurt by someone before you, so maybe this could have been why they had some certain actions in your guys' connection. I love you. I wish you were here with me. So yeah, they actually really want to like be with you. Physically. Um, I'm trying to find peace. And you're so special to me. Yeah, definitely. This person really, really admires you, really likes you. Um, like, big time. I'm stressed out. This person is also pretty stressed right now in their life. Alright, thank you Libra. If you like this video, please like this video. Also, if you like to subscribe, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like a personal reading, please email me. The email for that is in the description of this video. Thank you.